conjugate acid base pairs. Before we speak about those, I just want to remind you about the lowry bronsted definition of an acid and a base. An acid is considered to be a proton donor. So an H plus ion, it donates, it gives away. A base is a proton, so an H plus ion acceptor, it receives that H plus ion. So what is a conjugate acid and a conjugate base? Well, when an acid donates a proton, when it gives away an H+, what is left over from that acid is what we call a conjugate base. So for example, we know that an acid is, for example, HCl, hydrochloric acid, a strong acid. If that acid gives away its proton, it donates its proton, it gives away an H+, what is left over? Well, the H will be gone, it will form a Cl minus. This Cl minus is what we call its conjugate base. So an acid forms a conjugate base and a base forms a conjugate acid. And we can pair these up to form our conjugate acid base pairs. So if we take a look at this basic example over here, let's rewrite that. We've got HCl, which is my acid. And in this case, water is my base. Remember, water is a very good ampholyte. An ampholyte is a substance that can either act as an acid or as a base, depending on what it's reacting with. So in this case, water is my base. HCl, hydrochloric acid, is my acid. As you know, acids are proton donors. So what that means is my HCl is going to give away its H+, its proton. It's going to give that to my base. Now, as I said, I just did this example. When HCl gives away its proton, its H+, it becomes Cl-. minus. Now, for those people that don't understand where the minus comes from, HCl is initially neutral. It doesn't have a positive charge, most definitely not. It definitely doesn't have a negative charge. It's neutral. So think of it as its charge is zero. When it gives away a hydrogen, it's giving away a plus one. So think of it as we are subtracting a plus one. We're subtracting a plus one from something that is neutral. So if you are neutral and you give away a positive, you become negative. If you give away positivity, you become negative. So that's where this minus comes from. Then this base accepts the proton, it accepts the H plus. So it becomes H3O plus. It was H2. It's accepting another H. So it becomes H3O plus. It was neutral and now it becomes it gets a positive charge because it's accepting a proton. So essentially what is happening here is I've got an acid, HCl. What it becomes, what it forms is Cl minus. So these two go together. These are paired together. If HCl is my acid, then Cl minus is what we call the conjugate base. Conjugate base, acid base pairs. And then I've got my base, my water over here is my base. Once it accepts the proton, it forms what we call the conjugate acid. And that's as simple as it is, basically. They can ask this in ways that can confuse you a little bit. But before I get into these, if I were to ask you to list the conjugate acid base pairs, you would say HCl, and I would put in brackets acid, and its conjugate base is Cl minus, and I would put in brackets conjugate base. That would be my first pair. And my second pair would be H2O, which is my base, and H3O plus, hydronium ions, which is my conjugate acid. You also use these arrows like that in the example. So this is the example that I just did. So here's also another nice little summary. So when the acid donates its proton, what's left over is called a conjugate base. The reason why it's called a conjugate base is because if I have to reverse the reaction, it can now accept a proton. So think about it. This is now called a conjugate base. The reason why is because if I have to do the reverse reaction, the, the, the opposite. So if we have to go this way, Cl minus now has the ability to accept a hydrogen, making it a base. Because remember, bases are hydrogen acceptors. So here... I said a base forms a conjugate acid. So what if I had to give you the base, for example, ammonia, NH3? That is a base. If I had to ask you, what is that base's conjugate acid? Remember, you would say, well, ammonia is a base. Bases are proton acceptors. If ammonia, NH3, accepts a proton, what does it become? So once it accepts a proton, what does it become? Well, it will become NH4+. plus. So that is the conjugate acid. 
So if I had to ask you to try this activity very quickly, write down the conjugate basis of these. So tell me what the conjugate base of HCl is. We did this one already. This would be Cl minus. Then write down the conjugate basis of the rest. And for these, write down the conjugate acids. Pause the screen and try it. If you've tried it, remember, I hope this makes sense, they want the conjugate base, which means all of these given here are acids. If that was confusing you and now you understand it, you can maybe try again now. And here they want the conjugate acid. So all of these given here are bases. So they want the acid, the, sorry, these are acids. So they want the base. So if this is an acid, acids are proton donors. So basically, if it gives away this H, it's going to become H plus, it's going to become Cl minus. H2SO4, if it gives away an H plus, okay, it wants the conjugate base, which means that this is an acid, which means it's going to give away an H. If it gives away one of its H's, it's going to form H. SO4, not H2SO4, because it's giving away one of its H's, HSO4, and because it's giving away a proton, this has to have a charge of negative one. It was neutral, it had a neutral charge, a zero charge, it's giving away an H+, plus, which means it must have a charge of minus one. HSO4 minus, if that gives away an H+, plus, now it's no longer going to have an H at all, because it's giving its last hydrogen away, it's going to be SO4, it already had a charge of minus one. So if you already have a charge of negative one or minus one, and you're giving away another proton, another positive, what is your charge now going to be? Your charge would now be two minus, and this is the sulfate ion, if you don't recognize it. Then H2CO3, you're giving away one of your hydrogens. So you're going to be HCO3 minus, because you're giving away one positive, one proton. In the next lots of questions, I'm asking you for the conjugate acid, which means that I'm giving you the base. These are all bases. And you know that bases are proton acceptors. So if this accepts a proton, if it accepts an H+, what will it become? It's already got one H, so it's going to be H2SO4. The minus disappears because think about it. It had a charge of minus one. Now we're accepting a plus one, one proton. So it will then have a charge of zero. Over here, we've got NH3. If that accepts a plus, an H plus, it's going to be NH4, not three anymore. It's got an extra hydrogen and it's going to have a charge of plus one. Again, because it was neutral, it had no charge, NH3, no charge. It's going to accept a plus H plus, so it becomes NH4 plus. H2O, if that accepts a proton, it's going to become H3O plus, because again, it had no charge, it was neutral, it's gaining a proton, so it's going to have a charge of plus one. Then SO4 2 minus, if I give that one a proton, because it's a base, it accepts a proton, it'll become HSO4, it had a, ch had a charge of 2 minus, but if you have a charge of 2 minus or minus 2, and you're gaining a proton, a plus one, what's your charge now going to be? minus one. So it's still going to have a minus. I hope that makes sense. In the next video, we'll go over these two quick examples, identifying the conjugate acid-base pairs. I'll see you there. Subscribe if you haven't yet.